Hello, Nicola. Nicola Ignon, welcome to Maris Consulting. Um, you uh, work essentially with uh, agile and the theory constraints, the thinking processes, the theory constraints. Um, what do you think about the names of the two different approaches, agile and the theory of constraints? Would you say there's one that is um, more sexy? I think we can say that. We Which one say, would that be? Theory of constraints? When I talk about agile and when I talk about theory of constraints or thinking processes of uh, theory of constraints, well, I don't have the same lights in the eyes of uh, <laughs> the people I'm talking to. Okay, so um, do you, do you, does that mean that you don't use the word theory of constraints very much? I think you, you mentioned it in another video, you explained mostly uh, what, what you use it and then they say, well, what, what are you using? Oh, I'm using the theory of constraints. But, yes, uh, you this don't, is you, it. You don't, yes. uh, you don't uh, stop people in the street and say, uh, would you like to know about the theory of constraints? Exactly. Well, actually, people come to me uh, for, agile, um, for agile issues. People come to me and tell me, hey, I want to have my, my teams work in, uh, with uh, agile methods. They don't come to me uh, talking about theory of constraints. They come to me with problems, and it happens that uh, theory of constraints helps okay. resolving uh, problems. Right. Um, another point between these uh, these two schools of thought, agile and theory constraints, uh, is uh, that from my understanding, agile was uh, born around the development of open source software and as a result has always been genetically, um, um, has had a tendency to do a lot of communication, free, everything was out there, now on internet, and um, that's kind of different in the world of the theory of constraints, so can you tell me, you that uh, know these two things and have discovered both, uh, what your point of view is with regards to the, the accessibility, the communication of yes. the ideas and, and the management of the communities? Yeah, sure. Um, agile methods are born, uh, built in with uh, open source. Mm. People that uh, invented uh, agile methods like 30 years ago were deep into uh, open source uh, way of thinking. Open source just means it belongs, the, the software that is pr produced belongs to the community. Mm -hmm. If the community has uh, good ideas to improve the software, the community gives back to, to, to the other users uh, the, the improvements mm -hmm. that they made. Well, so when they invented those practices, they thought it would be a pity that it stays with the copyright and it stays just within the teams that invented it. Though they, j they just give the, um, the different practices to the community, to the community with this um, important way of thinking is that uh, it is a living, uh, it's, it's a living stuff, just experiment it, mm -hmm. have fun, enjoy, and if it happens that you have ideas to improve it, just give the ideas back. Mm -hmm. So for 30 years, we have had uh, several and it's continuous, uh, as, uh, like, uh, thousands of events of sharing and improving these methods. Um, nowadays, in France, every, way, every year, we have at least three major events with uh, hundreds of people, from beginners to experts, sharing and improving what they've lived during the past 12 months about uh, those uh, methods. And we have, uh, in Paris at least, and in most of France at least once a year, meetups, mm -hmm. like gatherings mm -hmm. uh, of people sharing their, practici mm -hmm. uh, their practices. This has two effects, uh, I think. It, um, it's much more easy for people just hesitating or quite cold about uh, about uh, jumping into the pool, uh, it's, uh, it helps them uh, try it and mm -hmm. just experiment. And for people more expert, uh, it helps uh, just improve their, their, their way of, uh, of using uh, the practice. 
Of course, this is this has a disadvantage. Uh, it's uh, the bullshitting part. Mm -hmm. Many, many, many teams today, maybe half of teams that say they are agile, so many teams are not agile. Mm -hmm. They say so because it's quite sexy to, to, to be able to say, hey, I'm agile, and it's cool, etc. Uh, but they don't. Well, so what? Half of the team are truly uh, agile. Mm -hmm and do uh, deliver much more value in much less, uh, less time for their, for their clients, and this is great. I think it's a quite fair price to pay to have uh, those methods uh, spread all over, uh, all over the, the, the world. On the other hand, uh, what I feel about uh, theory of constraints is that it's more uh, close, it's more copyrighted, and uh, it's less open to improvement and to sharing, mm -hmm. and it's much more difficult to get into it as a result. Mm -hmm. And I'm quite disappointed by, um, by that. So the material, as you say, you mentioned that for the Agile conferences that uh, often in real time or, or nearly immediately, all the content of the uh, of the conferences goes online, the videos, the documents, and everything. Uh, because, as I said, yes. probably the, it started off that way. The, 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 the open source software that was the, 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 the historical root of it all meant that you know the, you'd barely finished doing what you'd do, done, and it, you, the first thing you did with it was to make it public. Uh, and this has not been what you, you've uh, seen of the theory of constraints, where it's harder to get uh, get hold of the exactly, material. Yeah. Uh, Especially recent material, maybe. Exactly. No, th this is ju just uh, just the case. It's very very easy to find stuff and high quality stuff about uh, agile methods, and uh, it's harder to find high quality stuff, and it's much more expensive to find high quality stuff about uh, theory of, of constraints. Maybe we have to understand that those uh, two methods have chosen business models radically different. Mm -hmm. Open source business model is that you don't make money with the tools or with the methods. You make money with the expertise about those tools mm -hmm. or methods. Mm -hmm. So you have you have a very big interest in to, uh, in the, the fact that those tools or methods are widely spread. In theory of constraints, there uh, there is, to my perception, uh, there was during a lot of time. Uh, uh, willing to earn money through tools and methods and through expertise. And this can be a constraint. Um, that's a, a troubling thing to say, and I think you're, you're right. The, the, why I say troubling is that was true uh, in 1976 uh, to 1986, where yes. certain uh, parts yeah. of the tools were sold as tools. Uh, that's quite a long time ago, and it's a pity that uh, sure. and now that, in fact, the tools, are, you can find them, it's not easy to find, but the, the tools are not uh, copyrighted as such. They're, 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 they're described everywhere and, uh, and they're freely available. Um, but that's that we're, we're carrying a, a, um, the weight of history in, in the theory of constraints world, and, and that you should have this perception that the tools that the, are being protected mm -hmm. is... is Oh, it's a pity. It's uh, it's, re it's regrettable because uh, that's not, not really the case. And um, okay, so well, I hope that these videos and and other things that we do will, will, will change that because uh, I, I if I wanted to ask you that question is because I, I agree and I regret that um, today's world means that uh, anything to do uh, with the, the theory of constraints should be as easily accessible as what uh, what the best practices in the agile community are doing. It's you know it should be there. It's easy to do a video. It's easy to to upload a, a PDF or whatever, and uh, that's what should yes. be happening. Uh, I got just uh, an example. It's just an example, mm -hmm. but uh, if you want to know a bit more, let's imagine you don't know nothing about agile mm -hmm. or about theory of constraints. If you want to know a bit more about the subjects, just to taste it, um, uh, I think you will have to spend at least twice, uh, twice the price. Uh, between Agile and Theory of Constraints. J just for the two to three books that let you know what it is about, you will spend like $50, 50 euros 
at the most to get the main books about agile methods and i think you will spend around 100 dollars to uh, to get the like the goal and it's not luck mm -hmm. um why why that why that this is a constraint this is a limiting factor i think it's the constraint and to say it again it's, yes. it's it troubles me that has been living the theory constraints for now uh, over 30 years when uh, the goal uh, le but in french came out uh, many many years ago it was a remarkable uh, audacious uh, yes. marketing idea because it truly, was a, truly, a yeah. book that was quite cheap in those days with that business model it was a good way of marketing yes uh, the world has changed since then and it, uh, a book, especially if it's uh, it's expensive, such as in in, in some countries, um, is no longer the way to to to, to easily spread uh, the word of, or any any particular idea. Of, uh, it's one know. way, but it's no longer the best way. I think absolutely, yeah. But it, it's still one way. Oh no, we we both read a lot of books. Yes. So we we're, we're <laughs> not saying no, stop writing or publishing books, please. But uh, there, there are other ways that uh, reinforce. Uh, a good book. Sure. Okay, well, thank you very much. Thanks. Thanks.